Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. Well, that didn't take very long. There is now an ASIC miner for Caspa. It is called the Superscalar K10, all right, for the K heavy hash algorithm. This is not an FPGA, it is an ASIC miner. And if you go to f2pool.com and go to their popular miners, this is where it shows under here at the top, K10. All right, so this is pretty interesting. It has a power consumption of 1,560 watts at a hash rate of 29.4 giga hash. So throughout this video, I want to go through a bunch of other stuff here, just talking about the efficiency of this, comparing it to other Caspa hardware, such as GPUs, and of course the notorious Osprey Electronics E300. All right, so we're gonna talk about that, but thank you to Coastal Crypto Mining for showing me this news here around the K10. I was watching one of their live streams, Go subscribe to them, my friends. Link down below. Let's sub bomb them. Let's get them to 3K subscribers. All right, link down below. Please subscribe. There are a few other hardwares out there that I wanted to compare. Uh, there is this new multi miner M2 FPGA that's on Coastal Crypto Mining. And uh, I do want to talk about potentially how many of these K10s could come online the network. And we're just going to do some paper math and just see how much more of the terahash could go up from these K10s and you know comparing to how many could be in production and all that kind of stuff. So guys, before we do that, thank you to today's video sponsor. As a crypto miner, you know you want your equipment to be high quality. Proper cable management is part of your mining rig and the veteran miner has you covered. The veteran miner cables are created with the best materials to ensure they are of the highest quality. Our cables are made of 16 gauge tin copper, ensuring another layer of protection from oxidation and corrosion. We support our products with a 100% guarantee. Visit our website at www.theveteranminer.com and get the best cables for your mining setup. All right, so make no mistake, Caspa has been on the top of the charts recently. According to, let's see here, my proof of work list, if we go to year to date, a bunch of proof of work coins I have on my list here, obviously Conflux just mooned this past couple of months and uh, they've gone up 1600%. And of course we got Caspa, which has been pretty much gradually been going up over the past year, especially after the Ethereum merge where, you know, the end of proof of work for mining Ethereum, that Caspa has kind of taken the reins here over the past year and it has become one of the top coins for mining uh, for GPU miners. But that all may end here as more of these K10s and you know Osprey Electronics or these multi-miner M2s could start coming online the network and uh, taking advantage of the profitability. And then you know slowly as things start leveling out, depending on the price of Caspa, of course, the profitability for maybe GPUs may not be there, but that's really gonna depend as we go along here, there's an equilibrium when it comes to profitability for your hardware, right? Compared to your electrical costs. But going along, looks like over the past week here, we've had a little bit of a pullback from 0.42 cents to 0.2928 cents. So a little bit of a pullback here. Who knows how long this will last. But now let's talk about this K10. Okay, Super Scalar, that's the manufacturer. And it has a release date here. It says here of 2023-01. Not sure if that mean, means January or Q1 of this year. I believe these K10s have already been coming online the network, according even according to Coastal Crypto Mining when, when I was watching their live stream. Again, go sub to them. This is where I learned the news. The Caspa hash rate has been going up considerably since I would say the end of February. So if that is the case, if these super scalers were then maybe being shipped out or maybe you know just being manufactured and then being turned on by the manufacturer or by specific entities, which uh, Coastal Crypto Mining did mention that there could be specific clients, uh, entities who could be buying these, right? These aren't maybe going to specific, you know, retail investors who just go off and buy it on a website. Because right now, I, I don't see any website, a, a retailer or e-tailer that's selling these K10s. So that is definitely something that could be happening where these are being sold to those that are close friends to those manufacturers, whatever entities that have lots of money and are, are have been turning these on. But we do have to consider a lot of GPUs have been turning on as well. I mean, that's including myself. I've been turning a lot of my GPUs on. I was mining Caspa over the past week and it was really profitable. But now as the hash rate continues to rise or maybe plateauing right now because, you know, GPU mining profitability it's not on Caspa, it's on other coins such as you know, maybe uh, Dynex or Radiant or you know a bunch of other GPU mineable coins out there could be a little bit more better than Caspa at this point in time. 
But as you know, now as more of these K10s can be coming on, uh, so potentially let's do some paper math here. Okay, so Coastal Crypto Mining in the live stream, they said maybe roughly around 500 to 1000 of these could be manufactured. So if we take that into consideration, let's just do some quick math here. So at 29.4 giga hash, let's just do 30 giga hash. Okay, so 30 giga hash is going to be 0.03 of a terra hash. So let's just say a thousand of these were gonna be in production and then we're gonna times it by 0.03. That's gonna be in terra hash. So that will be 30 terra hash that could come on line the network if there were a thousand of them made. So currently the network hash rate for Caspa right now is around 775 terra hash. So actually if we just plus, you know, 775 terra hash, that would be about right now that would be about 805 terahash so would that be a pretty huge dent in the network hash rate difficulty for caspa mm, no it wouldn't it wouldn't really be that big of a dent so obviously we have no idea how many of these k10s could be coming online but just a bit of math there i'm assuming as we come along here these k10s are not only going to be the only asic miner is going to be built for caspa something tells me assuming the price of caspa keeps gradually keeps climbing here uh, we might see a lot more ASIC companies come in. Maybe Bitmain is going to come out with a more efficient miner comparing it to the Osprey E300. Something tells me that could already be in the works, but who knows? Nobody knows. So comparing, you know, the Superscalar K10 in terms of efficiency wise, the Osprey Electronics E300 is more efficient, but it does double the hash rate compared to the Osprey E300. So you might find more value than that, having this less efficiency compared to the Osprey E300, whatever. But another thing to consider, which I heard from Coastal Crypto Mining, and again, go subscribe to them. They said that the Superscalar K10s could cost between ten to twelve thousand dollars. All right, so that is that's pretty expensive, but that's obviously going towards you know, the, the current profitability of mining caspa right now which is probably really good on something like this so for example if i just did a calculation on uh, what to mine this is 29 400 mega hash at 15 60 watts power cost let's just do i don't know 12 cents per kilowatt hour let's just do current value hit calculate so this k10 currently would be profiting about 16 dollars a day all right the cost of electricity at 12 cents would be four dollars almost five dollars but your yield would only be about 764 caspa a day okay it even says here even on f2 pool around 786 caspa produced every 24 hours so that's uh i just realized the profitability stuff is here as well so quickly comparing it to like other asic miners out there it is the most profitable currently if we're comparing it to like the l7 but assuming that these are still in production then you know then obviously the difficulty network hash rate is going to go up we just did that calculation maybe another 30 terra hash could come online maybe more some people may say that this could be another ka3 you know cadena type of event where uh, if a lot of these could come online but if we're comparing it to the other current hardware that's out there you know especially gpus i forgot to mention this gpus are really not that far behind like the rtx 4090 gets 105.3 watt per hash you know 3070 you know these golden cards can do 108 watt per hash but going down here you guys can see a bunch of other hardware here now i forgot to mention the multi miner m2 this is a another miner that i, I saw on coastal crypto mining is for 23 2400 now this is an fpga but this can mine a bunch of other coins as well it's not only caspa but dash apparently we got, uh, I don't know what this coin is. I think that's Sia coin, uh, another coin here, and Cadena, of course, which I don't think it's efficient on Cadena. Comparing it to, obviously, the K3, it's, you know, let's see, 120 giga hash at 11.50 watts. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be as strong, but looking at Caspa specifically, it looks like it's not as strong as, like, an RTX A4000, okay? But obviously, you're getting way more hash rate uh, compared to an A4000. So how many A4000s? Do you need to buy to hit this, you know, 10.5 giga hash uh, compared to the multi miner here? So that's one thing to consider, which is only $2,400. How many A4000s do you need to buy to hit this hash rate? So that's another thing to consider. Anyways, I put a bunch of other GPUs on here, not all of them, but you can see relatively their uh, efficiency uh, comparing it to other GPUs. All right. So 
Uh, I found it to be pretty funny, the RX 580. It doesn't do too bad, right? It can still mine cast well, and it was actually profitable at one point, but now that the hash rate difficulty has gone skyrocketing, it's uh, not as great. So anyways, guys, that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I want to know your guys' thoughts on the Superscaler K10. If you guys think uh, this is going to be one that people may buy, uh, personally, I, I wouldn't spend, I don't know, <laughs> ten to $12,000. That that is a lot i mean i think the prices should be a lot lower obviously they are trying to make it in line with what the profitability is but we all know we all know that is it, it, that will change right as more and more of this of these types of miners start coming online maybe other manufacturers start producing them and that's really going to depend on the casper price which I know recently they did have a new, uh, I guess coming up soon, Rust implementation, something about 32 blocks. The, the transactions are gonna pretty much be faster than Visa MasterCard. I think it was like 20,000 transactions per second or something insane. So if that is the case, then, you know, that could be really bullish for Caspa. And uh, who knows though, who knows? Time will tell. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out.